So I went to the Nike employee store, got a bunch of pickups that I'll show you guys in these bags first. And then I also got a couple other pickups through the week that I figure I'd go ahead and show you as well, as you can expect some future videos in those. But let's go ahead and get into this unboxing video. What is going on guys, Has here, collectivekicks.com. And if you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. And I cannot believe some of the pickups that I ended up getting from the Nike employee store. It's always a crapshoot when you go, you never know if they're gonna have anything good or not, but they had a ton of really cool things on the hash wall, as well as a bunch of other sneakers that are just newer releases that I was excited to see. So really stoked that I ended up getting a bunch of these pickups. And then again, some of the other ones, I'll show you guys as some bonuses over on this side. But let's go ahead and get into the Nike stuff right now. All right, so there we have all of the boxes. As you can see, there is five of them. I ended up getting five pickups. And this is the first one that I'll show you guys. I ended up actually getting a pair of the Zoom Vaporfly 4%. And retail is $250. And so these were 40% off, I believe, on the hash wall. Uh, the price point on these were 150 instead. So I ended up getting this pair for the wife. This is a pair that I actually have. And um, I ended up finding one pair on the back wall on the hash wall for her size. So she can finally try these out. They're extremely lightweight. This is the one that uses Zoom X and with the new Pegasus Turbo, I think it is, that's coming out, like which I cannot wait to try as soon as I can get a pair. Um, I figured this would be a great time to uh, let her try these since they had them in stock and I can get them for under retail. So this is the very first one. And again, these are really amazing if you guys did not know. The technology is a little bit crazy because it has the Zoom X midsole, but then it has a carbon fiber plate that runs through the middle of the foot. So it definitely gives you a lot of extra spring in every step. The reason why I love this shoe though is because of the sheer comfort. There is some things that I really don't like, but I did a really detailed pro and con video on these before. So if you guys wanna check that video, just search the shoe with my name and you guys will be able to find it pretty easily. Something I just noticed that they left in the shoe, look at this. They left the, uh, the red pin inside of the shoe from the hash wall because this had the little tag thing on it. But So that's the first pair and something I was super excited to see, something extremely random that they actually had in stock. Next up, we have this white Jordan box, which looks like a premium pair of Jordans, which you are correct if that's what you think because that's what these are. So this was insane that they had this in my opinion. Um, something that the hype died down a ton on, but something that originally that I really liked and I wanted to hopefully get my own eventually. And what better way to get it than for a deep discounts uh, at the Nike employee store. So we have a pair of the Air Jordan 1 wings. And this has the wings logo on the back of the shoe right here. And it has a very interesting kind of worn look to the brown type material. And you have a wings logo on the tongue. It's just a super nice quality leather clear sole and it does say wings underneath as you can see and it comes with extra laces it has a bunch of words all over the shoes as well but you can see it uses the, like premium leather laces uh, right there insole that's the wings theme from the air jordan 12s which i already own so it's definitely cool to actually be able to have the 12s and the uh, the ones at the same time the box price on these were 200 dollars, and i got a size nine typically i'm a nine and a half but nine will definitely work and they only had one size nine left that i saw so it was definitely like a come up for me to be able to actually get a pair in a size that I can rock with. So very, very cool. Something I was excited to get my hands on. And it even comes with a dust bag from the employee store. So extra bonus there. The next one is a pair that I really want to give a try. And a lot of you guys have mentioned this. It's the EXP and then X14 SE. Uh, shout out, by the way, to the Nike employees and the, the people that I ran into at the Nike employee store. A lot of people said what's up to me. And uh, really kind of cool when you get some people that just are like, hey, you're, you're Hess. It's just nuts. It's crazy to, to know that there's so many people out there that watch uh, the videos or have seen the videos in the past um, here and there. Even the guy at the register that checked me out was like, yeah, I watched your videos since like 2013 and stuff. And I thought that was really cool. So shout out to those dudes that said what's up. But this is a pair of Nikes that I really honestly don't know much about other than it has a really funky name of EXP X14 SE. I will find out more about these before I do my detailed review. But just a heads up, I did get a pair and a lot of people are wanting to know my thoughts. 130 was the retail and I ended up getting them for um, the 40% off. Another big come up for myself. Boom, look at that. They actually had a pair of these 
in my size and this it was the display model so i had to have them pull it this is the colorway vaporfly four percent 250 they had a little bit of a stock of these not like a ton but like a decent amount and um, this shoe is the one colorway that i really wanted from the beginning so they did have a limit of one per person per colorway and this colorway i wanted to get for myself and the wife but since i can only get one i was greedy and got myself this colorway and then got her that colorway since they only had one in the store in that colorway and it was like the original colorway so i was like maybe she'll like that she didn't like that because she has the other versions of these the the knockdown versions already and she's like you already got me these and i'm like nah trust me this is zoom x she's like but why would they make the same shoe that looks exactly the same and i'll go ahead and turn that back over to nike because i said the same thing at the beginning of the launch i just didn't really understand what they were doing but she didn't really like that colorway but hopefully she likes them on feet and um, that is four of the five. Let's show you guys the last one. All right, so as you can see from the box, they had a pair of the Kevin Durant joints right here. And so I scooped these up because I wanted to see how they were in person since this is a new flagship model from Kevin Durant. So this is a new KD11 and this is the Hot Punch colorway. I believe this is also considered like the Peach Jam colorway. But as far as I know, this is the first colorway to actually release. Something that's actually nice that I didn't realize is that speckled midsole only on this side of the shoe. And then on this side, you don't see any of that. There's a little bottle cap sort of design right here. KD logo. Nice looking uh, fly knit material. And all in all, I want to do a quick review of these from a casual perspective for those that want to see uh, that video. So expect that very soon. But, uh, but I definitely am happy that I was able to pick up a pair under retail especially on launch. So it gives me a great opportunity to give these a try and I'll let you guys know what I think. That is all the Nike stuff. Let's show you guys the last three boxes over here. So in those last three boxes, on top of the boxes, I ended up getting a couple of t-shirts. I ended up getting the Sesame Street Cause Uniqlo t-shirts and this is like the everyone t-shirt right here. I actually ended up getting that one from a restock because these other ones I ended up getting from the previous shipment, I just didn't show you guys, but I got the Cookie Monster uh, Pocket Tee right here. And then I also got the Elmo and the Cause one right here. Happy to have gotten, I got my kids some and my wife some as well, so kind of fun. So this is a hoodie that I was wanting to get only because I saw the um, it, artwork and I really liked the artwork that I saw. And you know, honestly, I haven't even listened to the entire album, but this was when Kanye tweeted it out or the people tweeted it out that there was gonna be the kids see ghosts apparel that was dropping and i saw this artwork though and i was sold like instantly so there is the hoodie and that's the back of the hoodie as you can see so this is kid cuddy and kanye west's uh artwork for the album and you can see at the bottom it does say takashi on it who did the artwork and then it says garment layout by virgil abloh so that's the off-white dude and i you know i don't know if this is something people care about but i just thought it was super dope it says sit it says kids see ghosts up the side of the sleeve and then it has that on the front so the price point on this was kind of high though i don't even remember how much i paid for it but uh but i wanted to get it because of that print on the back leave a comment in the comment section did you guys actually pick one of these up as well or not i just thought it was really done quite awesome so i wanted to pick this up all right next up so i showed you guys that crazy adidas sale the other week and i know a lot of you guys tweeted me which i do appreciate and hit me up on instagram show me the pickups that you guys got but I ended up actually getting a pair from the sale that wasn't the Parlay Ultra Boost. I ended up getting the CS1 instead. And this is a shoe that I really liked from the very first images. I just thought the colorway was super fresh. And so I wanted to go ahead and scoop these up. And I believe I paid like $77, dude, which is crazy. The price point on the box was, I think, $220 or 240 And uh, I got these for $77. They have them on sale right now on Adidas. And they're still like $100 or something like that. So they're still half price. I really like the CS1. It's really an easy shoe to put on your feet. And although the NMD hype has died down, it makes it great for people like me that just want the shoe. This is the one I got. A lot of people got the Ultra Boost though, but uh, shout out to anybody else that got anything from that wild and ridiculous Adidas sale. Anytime they have those, I do post them on the website. And at the top of the description, I always tell you guys to go to my website to check out everything because I post all the deals on Instagram and Twitter, and then also uh, repost them on the website for a quick, easy access to all of the deals of the week but that is what i picked up there and the last item so speaking of yeezy we have a pair of 500s here and this was an extremely box fart 
this was an extremely easy pickup to get. At least for myself, I'm sure a lot of you guys had the same luck unless you were a very, very specific size or a size that they do not make. But this is the Yeezy 500s in the utility black colorway, as you can see on the box. And this is my favorite colorway out of the three that have released so far. I know it's all black or kind of like a dark smoke grayish, but I like this one a lot. I think this one looks super clean on feet. Quality looks pretty good on it. Nice suede and it's a comfortable shoe. Definitely a shoe that a lot of people are sleeping on and I think that they just don't really feel the shoe. It's just different looking. Also, I already mentioned this. They have so many that are the same. I'm gonna move this in closer. Hold on a second. Uh, I already mentioned this, but they have so many of these that are already the same, all like one color that people just maybe aren't feeling it. There's so many detailed layers to the shoe that if they actually add some awesome color blocking to the shoe, it will blow people's mind and I think that people would actually uh, really look twice at this model. But as for now, it is what it is. I love that they have a triple black colorway just because I think that it's like a, a must for any good silhouette just to have a triple black, maybe even a triple white colorway. But, um, but then obviously it's great to be able to mix everything else up and do different things. That is my haul. Oh yeah, wait, there's one more thing. I forgot to show you guys. Puma sent over some stuff too. Shout out to the folks at Puma. They sent over these Puma Run Reflective 360 shorts which are pretty wild if you guys haven't seen these. It's actually a two-in-one short. So this is a nice pair of running shorts right here. They sent that over. They also sent a t-shirt over and some pants, which I actually wore in the promotions of the Puma hybrids. So if you guys missed that video, go check that video out. They also did send over this Puma XO hoodie, which has actually done quite well. And then you can see there's an, an XO on the sleeve. Even on the back, there's a huge XO on the back so nice looking hoodie nice looking apparel that they sent over and i'm happy that they ended up sending me some cool stuff so that was the last of it just so i wanted to show you guys that also but that is the video thank you guys for stopping by and watching and i have a ton of uh, reviews that i owe you guys videos on that i need to get to crack it on but i just haven't had enough time time is so difficult to get nowadays when you have little one and little two on the way so with that being said i'll be working to try to get you guys the content that I need to deliver. So check back on the channel pretty frequently as well as subscribe if you guys just wanna know when the videos go live. You can hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe box and it will tell you when the videos are published. Usually it's around four or 5 p.m. PST, but it kind of varies depending on the day. Thank you guys for watching though, much appreciated. We'll catch you guys for some more sneaker videos very soon. Peace guys.